What's up guys, CJ here for Kung Fu Night. This time for more It's Always Sunny, we're on Season 9, Episode 7. Last time we had the Gang Sa Saves the Day episode, we got... <coughs> uh, visualizations of the Gang's fantasies. Some more deeply involved than others. <laughs> Um, you know, I just realized too, with thinking about Frank's, you know, he did just want to eat a hot dog, but you know, we we know he's he's pretty he's pretty selfish, but we also had it. Uh, we saw we also saw again how little he cares about anyone in the gang. I think everyone died in his. Everyone died in his. Everyone died in D's, and Mac died in his. Mac, <laughs> interesting. So 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 wild here. I want another psychology episode. The last one wasn't enough. Uh, back in season eight. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see what this episode has in store. Again, we're going into these things blind. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can get well ahead from the rate that you're getting them just by checking out the description that has a link to the Patreon tiers. Uh, some Patreon tiers are further than others. Some are as low as just like four bucks or whatever. Um. We do bloopers over there. Reaction requests may make a comeback. We'll see. And uh, I think that is it. So leave your comments down below, and I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to get right into it. Boys to men going on. Not too hard. Not too soft. Yeah, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I mean, some talent know. there. Also some cringe. You sounded pretty good. Oh, hi, super group boys to men. Please let us win your contest. We sound... Pretty good. If we're gonna open for Boys to Men at the Boys to Men concert, we need to dazzle them. Who lied to them and said they would be My opening for Boys to Men? It's the sweet old man from our building. This is the worst flu that Philly has ever seen. Wow. We have to quarantine ourselves. Right. What year did this come out? You know what you can't do when you get the flu? Sing? Sing. Sing. What year was this released? Uh, season. Was this really like three years ago? Two and a half? COVID, COVID started 2000, what? I mean, I guess there were, I mean, there wasn't a pandemic back then. This came out in 2013, but I guess they can still, you know, write something like this into the show. I heard there were COVID episodes for like, you know, COVID-19, right? There were quarantine episodes for COVID-19, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but maybe that might be like season 12, season, 15, I don't know, 14 or something much later. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what we got. Quarantine, baby! All right, this is gonna be good. Everybody find a spot to put your sleeping bags and we'll be all set. Why do you think we're quarantining ourselves in the first place? To protect my life. No, to preserve our vocal cords, okay? Which also means no alcohol, guys. There, there, there are so many parallels to the quarantining in today's modern day and age, that's all I'll say. Uh, yes, hi, I'd like to order two pepperonis, one combo, and... Aww. That sounds so good. Can't do that. I'm overdue for some garlic bread. This is the quarantine. I'm gonna take all your cell phones. You lost your privileges. Yeah. No, thanks it's a just, lot, D. It's, it's just until the vaccine is replenished. Right. Well, I'll tell you exactly what we're gonna do. Practice. Practice. Come on, man. He wanted to say it. Like, just let me do it. Like, <laughs> Love the music. It sounded off, but it sounded off, but it was like all collectively off. You think fine is good enough for the boys to the men? Oh, you, you guys, you guys, if we want to stand out, you know what we got to do? We got to focus on our story. Our yes. Practice. Those competitions are all about how singing helped you overcome some major obstacle. Oh, so we'll, we'll do like a group of like southern stuttering army vets with like a religious band, mm -hmm. okay? And then we'll all be in the same outfits. And then watch your friends explode and, on and stage and then go, and go oh, my friend exploded, my friend exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? What? what? It's a singing competition. Come on, what? 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 Problem? This. It's Somebody quarantine. broke the seal. Quarantine has been compromised. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah. All right. Well, what was the name on the order? <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Ask him how it's possible for him to talk to you through a cut phone wire. You fucking. <laughs> Dennis is Spider-Man. No. No one. Oh yeah, it was me, the evil villain with the perfect voice. 
That was close, Charlie. What is this music? There's some contrast there. That didn't seem appropriate. What is he doing? Oh, I'm just warming up my voice a little bit. And I did a little sketch of the outfit myself, and I wasn't quite sure what you were going for. Like, Let's see this thing. All each going to be a body part, or if you wanted us mashed in this thing side by side somehow? The Transformer well, or some kind same of... Outfit, right? So I'm trying to figure, like, who goes where. And... Same as in matching, not same as it jammed into the same... <laughs> okay. Do you, what do you think about all this? <laughs> don't, don't, don't put me on the spot. I, I'm just... I, I, I'm, I'm just a, a Jesus loving ex marine. Frank, what the hell are you doing, dude? Getting rid of all this contaminated crap. Okay, well, someone's gonna have to go out and get this food, so I'll do it. No, no, no. Dennis, well, Dennis knows a lot about get lacerating get throats. In case one of you gets sneezed on, the other one can report back. All right, dude, first things first, let's get some beer, man. You know, screw Dennis and his rules. The guy's like, you know, such a dick about shit. You gotta love how we're right back in the convenience store from last episode, too. Yeah, dude, he can be so controlling, you know? He can't do really cool stuff with his dick, though. Okay, does any- I mean, why does it seem like Mac has a crush on Dennis? You know, he's, he's protective of him, and they're pretty close. There's a moment last episode where it was like right as Mac was dying. Uh, he wants Dennis to want him, I think. Like, I don't know, something, something Dennis said made me think that. That's all I'm getting at. <laughs> Whoa! That's not good right there, man! There's too many bogeys! Let's get some food! Let's get out of here! Let's get back to the quarantine! Whoa! Stop! What is this? I love it's it. Huh? Oh, what was all this? Oh, it's just a little gas because I've been working on it. Oh, okay. No, man, that's sweet as hell! Hey. Oh, shit, you alright? You got a <laughs> Frank will crack down on him and keep throw his ass in the I don't know a closet somewhere. Look at that. It's like a goddamn barber shop. That's what carries the disease, Dennis. The hair. Ooh. We don't really need it. What are you doing? Cleaning. Were you eating pizza and drinking beer up there? Yeah. No, I'm getting a little star crazy. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it's driving you nuts. One more thing. Hmm? Whoa. That's not mine. Where is he gonna? Oh, in here too. Okay. He's been in here for a while. how anybody thinks that a germ could survive a scalding hot pizza is beyond me. There was a breach. This man without a razor bit like he's actually in a barber shop. I'm gonna go shave. Then when I come back, we'll play some games so nobody goes nuts or nothing. This is a terrifying version of Frank here, man. We haven't had a good Frank episode in a while. This is overdue. Uh, movie, movie, okay, movie. Two, three, four, five words. Ocean's 13. Frank, I can't concentrate when you look like this. You look ridiculous, man. It was what's he Whoa. How's that? What's he didn't give her? Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich, just so ripped in the story. Snitch. He's a snitch. This is bullshit. If you guys are getting sick, then stay away from me. Holy shit, dude. I think we need to call 911 for you. Motel. Motown film. That sounded chunky. Oh man. Charlie. Charlie, look at that. Look how clean I am. <laughs> when I get out of here, I'm gonna clean Philadelphia. Good. A giant cleanse. Well, good luck with that. Go for it. He's so terrifying, man. Oh, all the hair! Charlie, are you sick too? Hmm? Sick? Nah, oh, Frank's all trying to shave me and shit. I'm like, dude, no way. So, I figured I'd hang out with you guys instead, you know? Please, Mac. I've been vaccinated for every disease in the book. I'm gonna be just fine. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Uh, anyone want some booze? I knew you drank cleaning supplies. No, nah, dude, this is booze. I stashed whiskey in here. 
know about you guys, and I don't know why this is happening, but I actually feel a lot better. You guys, we haven't been drinking since we quarantined ourselves into the bar, at least since we got stuck in the bathroom. Well, oh, that's it? right. Wait, wait, wait. So what are you saying? That we'd never had the flu? We were just having alcohol withdrawal? Oh, I'm certainly not going to stop drinking. I, I mean, I physically can't. No, no, yeah. yeah. Big, 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 big. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Frank! We're not sick! Yeah, we're fine, dude. We... What the hell is this? Girl, the heartbeat. Why is there hand sanitizer all over the floor? What in here? Oh! <gasps> Frank? Oh. I just want to be pure. <laughs> Motown Philly's back again. <laughs> Doing a little East Coast swing. Hey, it's Jerry from Parks and Rec. In your professional opinion. You think we got a shot? I mean, we're talking about boys to men here. We want to go and we want to win. Yeah. Boys to men. That concert is canceled. So we do this for nothing? <laughs> you know, if I'm being honest, I'd rather go back to the bar and get drunk than go to some, you know, concerts. Yes. You know what, guys? We can sing at the bar like we always That's do. That's right. right well, then, drink. from the top, shall okay. we? Okay. Motown Philly's back again. Doing a little East Coast Okay. We've got to get that sanitizer off you. All the, the hair. All the hairiest men they could have asked for. <laughs> Alright, fun episode of Sunny here. Um, I like the Boys to Men references. I think my favorite song of them might be... Oh, was it The End of the Road? I haven't heard that one in a while, though. Um, but yeah, I liked how they were just doing their their little rendition of Motown Philly. Um, Frank was absolutely terrifying. Uh, his seriousness, his... You know, the music kind of... The music... I didn't get what they were doing with the music initially, but then I started to pay a little more attention to Frank, and it, it really aligned. I like how um, how he was willing to like shave his head for this, and this man looked like a newborn baby <laughs> sitting in that closet, man. Yeah, and then we... It took me a bit to, I guess, get that they were going for the whole alcoholism thing, too. Um... I kept saying it about somebody earlier in the episode, but um, at least for me personally, I didn't know that alcohol withdrawals get that bad uh, for people that are alcoholics. Like, I thought that it was all the flu and everything that they were talking about, but um, the the hints were there. Like the first thing, you know, early in the episode when they walk in the quarantining, they ask if they're not going to drink. And what was it? It was only like four days. How many days was it? I don't know, whatever it was, um, you know, it was just, it was enough for them to, to feel the withdrawal, so, damn, that's wild. What else? Yeah, again, we had more proof that the gang can sing and intentionally sing poorly, too. Dennis's stubbornness was hilarious, to Him thinking he's super in control of his body and he can just rid himself of sicknesses. Um... But, but yeah, fun episode overall. I don't think I have, have too much more to add, but leave your comments down below. Link is in the description for Patreon tiers if you want to get well ahead. I will catch you guys next time, all right? Peace.